Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about an overview of gene expression. As we all know, gene expression is a process by which information present on gene is used in the synthesis of functional gene product. And this gene is present on DNA. So basically the information on gene is expressed to define its function. And in that case, gene expression, we see mostly the gene product that we get from genes is functional protein but it's not true all the time because there are also non-coding genes that make functional products like tRNA and mRNA. Now let's see in detail how the gene expresses itself. First of all in the process of gene expression we see there is a DNA molecule and we know that this DNA molecule contains all the information that's essential for an organism. It contains information about its behavior, about its color, about everything that the organism has got. Then this information that's present on DNA gets transferred to a molecule called RNA through a process called transcription which we are going to discuss later on what transcription is. Then this RNA cannot function itself. So what it does, it translates information into a product called protein. And it is this protein that describes the function and that has the ability to function within an organism to give a desired function. So what this function is, basically it's the gene that's present on DNA that defines the function. But this gene cannot express itself directly. So it goes through series of processes that's transcription, translation and finally it expresses itself. Let's take an example in humans. Let's see how the gene for eye color expresses itself. We know the gene for eye color is present on chromosome number 15. And it's called OCA2 gene that's present on chromosome number 15. Why OCA2? Because the mutation in OCA2 gene causes a disease called oculocutaneous albinism 2. And this OCA2 gene produces a P protein that's involved in the maturation of melanosomes. And this melanosomes finally produce melanin and this melanin is present in the iris causing the pigmentation in it. It has been found that it's eumelanin that's brown or black melanin that contributes to eye color. But in case of blue or green eyed people another type of melanin has been found and this melanin is called pheomelanin which gives them their characteristic color and this melanin is produced by melanocytes also. When getting into the detail we see a segment of DNA that's able to produce a functional protein and this segment is called gene and it's this gene which is going to produce an mRNA. In the first step of gene expression we see there is synthesis of RNA molecule called primary transcript that contains all the information of gene that it has got from DNA. But the information is discontinuous let's say and for it there occurs a RNA processing where introns are removed as they are non-coding sequences while exons are left as such because exons contain the whole information to be expressed later on. Then finally we get mRNA molecule and the whole process from DNA to mRNA is termed as transcription. After the transcription the information of gene is now with mRNA molecule and it needs to get expressed. And for this, first of all, the mRNA molecule is exported from nucleus to cytosol. And here in the cytosol, first of all, it binds with ribosome and with the help of tRNA, it creates an initiation complex. And after that, the mRNA molecule translates the information that's coded in the form of codons in mRNA and it transfers it into a fully functional protein and the process is called translation. So in the end of gene expression, the information on gene is expressed through protein because this protein will alter the metabolism or behavior of an animal. So it gives a definite function and we say gene is expressed. This was all about an overview of gene expression. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.